back in my sophomore year of high school, I noticed that I couldn't bend my finger, and I thought that it was something that was just kind of like I hit my hand on the desk or it was bruised. I went to urgent care. I walked out with a diagnosis for lupus after a bunch of blood tests. And um, after that, it kind of progressed really badly. So I would wake up with arthritis so bad in my hands that I couldn't even turn on my own shower. My dad would have to wake up early in the morning so I could get ready for school just to turn on my shower because I couldn't do something as basic as that on my own. Um, my hair would start falling out. I'd have this butterfly rash on my face so I couldn't run track the same because I would my hips would just hurt so bad that I couldn't run anymore and it was something that I loved to do and I had been doing for the first two years of my high school career. During finals weeks I would get these really bad lupus headaches so my I couldn't focus. The lupus headaches, they're much stronger than a regular headache. Um, it's kind of like a sharp pain for me at least on one side of my head and no matter what I do it won't go away so I could close my eyes and the pain is just still throbbing right there. If I went into a dark room it would still be there. It just wouldn't go away. Uh, even if I took uh, more Advil than a typical person should, it wouldn't go away. It wasn't strong enough. I would go to the ER. They would try and give me stronger medication. So I've been on Tylenol with codeine. They put me on narcotics at some point, um, morphine, and none of that worked. So um, after a while, um, I'd be in the hospital maybe for four or five days with them just trying to figure out how to get rid of it. Um, at Children's Hospital, they did figure out that one time uh, what they called a headache cocktail kind of thing through an IV worked, but um, after that last headache, I actually got the treatment, so I haven't really had those since. So with the, all those symptoms combined, it was just a constant battle of trying to feel normal. Um, I would wake up every day, no matter how, if I got 12 hours of sleep or three, I felt the exact same. And then on top of it, just not being able to do things by myself made it worse. I just couldn't live a normal life uh, with all these symptoms. So at school, um, it didn't affect me in the sense my grades wouldn't have shown it, but I was falling apart. When we first found out about treatment, it sounded like a great idea. I'm really into science, so uh, the science to me sounded promising. Um, so my dad was willing to help out with that and we were able to go down to Mexico to get the treatment and um, the treatment itself was very short but right away I could actually feel a difference because when I first got to Mexico I actually had arthritis in my hands and I couldn't bend my fingers all the way but right after the treatment I could feel a difference because when we were going back over the border I could bend my fingers again immediately. My name is Eric, I'm Jasmine's father. I'm a law enforcement officer so therefore, I'm very skeptical. We arrived at a hotel in San Diego. We met a shuttle van. We all got in there. I was there with my wife and my two daughters. And so we drove across the border. It was very easy. We went into the treatment facility and I got to talk to different patients. Some had never had the treatment as us. We had not done it either. And those who had treatment before. And I started to realize that some people really have had good results with the stem cells putting me somewhat at ease because I still wasn't sure about doing this but needed to do something and then she got the treatment and then after that she was telling me that her fingers it was probably about an hour or two after the treatment she started to say she could move her hands again which was incredible that it worked that quick it's been a year and three months now and she's been asymptomatic it's made me a believer in this and I was very skeptical. I started to notice that little things I could do again. It was just great to be able to function on my own, to be able to get up in the morning. I could turn on my own shower. I could get dressed without a problem. I got back in the sports. I was able to run miles without my hips grinding. I was able to st stay up like a normal teenager, get my homework done and stress out, but not have to end up in the hospital for it. Um, I could go through life without worrying that I'd end up in the ER. In terms of medication, I had the smallest dosage a lot before the treatment, and then after treatment, that didn't change. But now it feels like 
it's actually working. I have no symptoms and all I'm doing is taking the medication to help prevent the lupus from coming back. In terms of the hair loss that I was seeing beforehand, I would have clumps of hair falling out in my hairbrush. I had had bald spots on my head that I would have to comb my hair a very specific way so you couldn't see it. The hair did grow back so I don't have any bald spots. Um, I can comb my hair however I want and there shouldn't be a bald spot showing and I don't have to worry about that which is super nice. So what I have noticed is the biggest thing is one, the lack of being in the hospital. And that's, I mean, it's not really what it has done, it's what you don't see anymore. And that's the biggest change. So she's a complete functioning adult. I don't see the lupus affecting her at all anymore. I mean, I'm so happy with this. And I talk about, I'm blue collar. And as I said, I'm a cop. So I don't make that much money. And so at first I was going, oh my God, how am I gonna afford this? If I can't take my family, what good is money? And this is, you couldn't put a price on what's happened to my daughter, the change that she's had. You know, at first it was attacking her brainstem, it was fatal. And now look at this. You know, my beautiful daughter. The changes I've seen have been permanent and it's been great. <laughs> One thing that the lupus really had an impact on was when we were talking about colleges. We decided to have her go to college here, local, you know, 15 miles away from my house so I could take care of her if anything happened. Then we had the treatment so now she's applying once again she's in college second year in college and he still has straight A's in college weather changes would even cause a lot of things to flare up my hands would my fingers would just look all crooked because they from the arthritis my ribs would hurt to breathe even at home where we're in Southern California we don't have that much weather but even just okay it's cloudy one day and now it's sunny my something would flare up, whether it be my head or my legs, my fingers, something would happen. And now it's like nothing is making it change, which is great. I'm not worried too much about it anymore. From not being able to run at all to running cross country competitively in high school, that was that's a huge change. Oh, I went to every single meet, <laughs> so I loved her for doing that. It was just incredible. From what was gonna happen or is it fatal to seeing her run cross country. That was outstanding. Still is. I ran track at UCLA, I was on a scholarship at UCLA and ran track there so to see my daughter run also, follow my footsteps, that was beautiful to see. The ability to be able to even take those steps to run a three mile race was enough.